Lesson two, Alice's adventures. One day, Alice was lying under a tree on the river bank, listening to her sister reading a story. Suddenly, a white rabbit with pink eyes, wearing a red coat, ran close by her. He took out a big watch from his waistcoat pocket, and as he hurried away. He said, "Oh dear, oh dear! I will be too late." She had never before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it. She thought there was something very different about this rabbit. It could talk, it wore a red waistcoat, and it carried a watch. Alice wondered, a talking rabbit, a rabbit who wears a waistcoat. Alice followed the white rabbit. The rabbit started running, and Alice followed the rabbit. The rabbit suddenly popped down a large rabbit hole. Alice jumped into the rabbit hole too. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way, and then dipped suddenly down, so suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think about stopping herself before she found herself falling down a very deep well. Alice said aloud, "Where am I? How many miles down have I fallen?" I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth," she wondered. "Will I slip through the earth to the other side?" When suddenly, thump, thump, she came upon a heap of sticks and dry leaves, and the fall was over. She looked around quickly and suddenly saw the white rabbit again. It disappeared, saying, "Oh, my ears and whiskers! How late it's getting!" Alice stood up and saw a small door about fifteen inches high. It was too small for her to go through. She saw a glass table with a golden key on it. She tried the little golden key in the lock, and to her delight, it fitted. Alice opened the door and looked into the loveliest garden she had ever seen. How she longed to be among those beds of bright flowers and those cool fountains! But she could never even get her head through the doorway. Oh, how I wish I could become smaller! She exclaimed loudly.